Hey everyone, your boss here. So I've been meaning to talk about the Helldivers 2 situation for a couple of days now, but every time I had a video ready, something new would happen making my entire video obsolete and forcing me to start all over again. But it seems like things have finally started to settle down now, so let's get yapping. Uh, short summary, Helldivers 2, you used to be able to play without a PlayStation Network account. But a few days ago, Sony, the publisher, decided to make it mandatory to have an account or lose access to the game. And everyone hated that because, I mean, who wants to create an account? But more importantly, this move would cause a lot of people to lose access to the game that they paid for because they live in a country that doesn't have PlayStation Network. Sony, in response to the backlash, doubled down at first, unlisting the game in the countries that didn't have access, before finally backtracking and putting out a public statement announcing that they would not be going forward with the change. And so yeah, big win for gamers everywhere, things are mostly back to normal, and I just want to say, I'm proud of you. It's not great that a publisher can arbitrarily decide to torpedo a successful game just because they don't understand the market, but the fact that gamers everywhere got together demanding refunds and raising hell to pressure Sony into doing the right thing really makes me happy. It's easy to think, especially in the game industry, that nothing ever changes and that nothing will ever improve, but every time something bad like this happens, people remember. And slowly but surely, that memory influences the way things are done, and things change for the better. I mean, just the fact that people protested at all is huge compared to even a few years ago when people were laughing at things like No Apex August saying it would have never changed anything. Well, now you know. Things can and do change. We just have to work together. Kind of like Helldivers. And let's be real for a second. This isn't the last time we'll see a publisher like Sony do something stupid. It will happen again, but when it does, they're going to regret it, and they're going to change their ways one way or another, and that makes me very confident about the future. I'm proud of you. As always, have a nice day.